Hello guys, so once again welcome back to Chili Philly and today I'm going to show you how to make this kind of gallery animation using only HTML and CSS files. You can put uh, any images instead of this uh, square brackets. Here I have the image of a square that I have used here. It is this image. Okay, you can uh, obviously place any image whatever you want to put here and uh, you can also put uh, different images here and here also. Okay, so let's see how to make this kind of animation using HTML and CSS only. Okay, so first of all, we have two files here. First is gallery.html and second one is CSS. First of all, I will explain the CSS HTML file. And here I have the basic HTML skeleton, uh, HTML tag, then head tag and then title tag for giving the title. Then I have to link the CSS file that is here. So we have to write this H reference equals to gallery.css and now inside the body tag i have five images as we have five total images here so first of all i am giving the id of front for this front image and uh, then right then right one and left and left one and i have used the same image here for all these uh, ids you can obviously use any image whatever you want to place here and i have given them same class of image and I've closed the body and HTML tag. And now we will look inside the gallery.css file. Now, first of all, for the body tag, I have given the background color to black and margin and padding to zero. There are the basic things which is necessary to every CSS animations. Okay, so after then I have applied the animation for the ID of front, that is for the front image and I have given the width of 250 pixels and height of 250 pixels and setting the position to relative after then I am setting the position of the front image 200 pixels from the top side and 500 pixels from the left side and setting the color to orange here we don't need this color okay so I am deleting this and saving it now for the id of right that is for this right square and here I am giving the width of uh, 250 pixels and height of 200 pixels, position to absolute and uh, top of 200 pixels and I am setting the left position to 750 pixels as we don't want our square bracket to stay here but we want our square bracket to stay 250 pixels after the main front image. Okay. And I am setting the opposite value to 1 and I'm scaling down the square of by 0.8 so it will decrease its size okay you can see this the size of these two squares are different from the front side okay and I'm applying the animation of right and the time for the animation is one second and is now for the left I am applying the same uh, content here for position absolute top 200 pixels and left 250 pixels as we want our left to be on the left side of our front image so I have applied the left 250 pixels and the different animation is left and one second and is in transform scale of 0.8 now we will see about this right and left animation first so here is our left animation so at 0% we want our anime our square bracket or our image to the main position that is top of 200 pixels and left of 500 pixels and setting the width and height of 250 pixels and setting the opacity value to 0 as we don't want our square bracket to appear at the start of the animation so we will set the opacity value to 0 and we will transform the scale of 1 now at 100% I am setting the position to fix it as we don't want to reappear after the front image and setting the top and left positions okay so I am applying the left position to 250 pixels instead of this 500 pixels because we want our image to be here and width and height are all same and scaling down to 0.8 and setting the opacity value to 1 that is quite easy to understand and same thing for the right animation just we have changed 
the left position to 750 pixels here because we want our right image to take place after this front image okay and all the things are same okay now we will look for this right one id that is for this third image so we have width and height of same position of absolute top of 200 pixels and left of 100 pixels here we have added 250 pixels more in this left position that is 750 pixels so we have added 250 pixels more as we have the width of 250 pixels and the animation is a two on right one it will last for one second and it will happen after one second yeah this one second is for the animation delay and op is the second animation that uh, we will see after this and it will last for one second and scaling down the animation to 0.75 and same for this left one here we have to set the position to zero okay it is very easy and uh, different animation of left one and to last for one second and animation delay is one second so that the animation will start after one second opacity for one second okay so let's see first of all the op animation that is and now at zero percent we have the opacity of zero and at 100 percent we have the opacity of zero we did this because we don't want our animation or the left and right one that is these images we don't want these images to appear at the st start of our animation we want it to take place after one second of the animation you can see this first of all these two images are coming and after that these two images are coming after one second okay so we have to give the opposite value to zero now let's see the left one animation that is for top 200 pixels left 500 pixels and width of 250 pixels height of 250 pixels that is all like the left animation and now i'll see the right one animation that is also quite easy okay so first of all we have set the left position to 500 pixels that is after this main front box and at the end of animation we want it to take place at left of 100 pixels and scaling it down to my point 75 pixels. sorry point 75 okay so that is all right and now we are opening the browser and refreshing it okay you can see this now if you want to put different images here and here you can also put by just changing the source of the image so that's it for this video and if you guys really enjoyed this video then please hit the like share and subscribe button and i will see you guys in the very next video so once again thank you for watching this video